I just want to double check that focus and just make sure that I'm spot on in the centre of those pylons and that gives me it so 8 minutes starting now Okay, I think you can just about see me. Uh, ghostly figure as I am. Um, so this is Port Wollonga and I think if I move out the way you can just about see it in the distance. Okay, I stopped it there. Um, I didn't realise that I'd actually uh, set the little, little tip to self. As always, check your ISO settings from, the, from your last shoot. I've set that at um, ISO 200 and as such, I just suddenly seen that I'd done that, stopped the, uh, stopped the exposure. So it was a four minute exposure and it's, uh, I'll pop it up now, it looks quite good. to swap out and put a longer lens in, zoom in and get some more detailed shots. Okay guys, I've set up now with the uh, 32 to 64 just so I can punch in a little closer on those pylons. I'm um, tipping the camera down, I'm going to put some filters on possibly in a moment. Um, I'm just going to adjust our ISO back to 100. It's giving us 8 seconds. Uh, F14, so I'm going to go down to F11. I'm going to put the ISO up. I really want about one and a half seconds. I'm going to time this so that when the wave comes in and just before it starts receding, when I get one that comes all the way up, I'm going to give it a, give it a click to, and then uh, let it run. And just to get that streaking, that streaking in the in the water, in and around these rocks that we've got here, but uh, I needed to play ball and give us a big uh, a big push, a big wave and we're starting to settle down now as you can see behind me there isn't much uh, colour, that colour's gone away it looks like it's been snuffed out so there's a one and a half seconds And we'll give it another go just when this wave rolls in. So here's a, here's a bit of a roller. Not far enough. So you, these, these waves come in cycles, so I'm hoping one will really push up. I think the next one might. Two, and we caught that, and now it's going away. Pretty, yeah, it's quite nice. Um, I could probably push it up to two seconds, which I'll do now.
So I put it on manual. Put it on manual, put it all the way down to two seconds. That looks good. And if we get a roller. Not quite. Again, cycle, so we'll have to wait a touch. And while we're waiting, this looks like an interesting one. Not quite, not quite. Next one, though. This is pushing it. This one's it. Come on. Let's see if they roll right. One, two, we've got it. Two seconds. Uh, I think what I might do is these uh, rocks are quite interesting down here. I might get a little touch lower and exaggerate those in the frame. I'm just going to capture this in uh, landscape. I'll wait for the right wave. The beauty of this is that I don't have to worry about uh, I worry about my filters, uh, about turning them because I've got none on. So. And out. Recompose this one. Let's make sure the central in the frame. I'm going to pump this up to. F18 now. This is one and a half seconds, which is perfect. You can notice that it's level, so that's good for me. I might focus stack this because that rock is quite close to, uh, right, quite close to us. So I uh, probably will do that. I'll wait for this to come in. Two second timer, one, two. Now it's receding. Okay. So, uh, I bought the Nissi V6 filter system. So simple. You just see that, just, just goes on. It's a dream. Water is just so fluid. Right, I think I've taken quite enough. With this, we're hitting, what are we hitting? Let me just recompose first. So. Zooming in to get that pile on. Central. The horizon's level. I probably want less water and more sky in this one, I think. So I'm just going to raise it up. We'll try it both ways. Um, I'll try, try it. Well, we'll try it always, dead on, raising the uh, camera up and pushing the camera down. But for this one, I think I just want to raise the camera up and catch more of that sky. And pull that down. Just to uh, ensure our focus is on. I'm going to pull the ISO back to 100, and this gives me. Uh, around about two second exposure. I'll just lock that on, check the focus peaking, which is good, they're all in focus. Um, so two seconds will give me six stop about a two minute exposure. 
So I'll give that a go. I'm not 100% convinced because I think it might blow out, but we'll uh, we'll see on that. We'll see how we go. Pop it into manual. And uh, I forgot to use mosquito spray as ever. And that means I'm going to get bitten to death. I can already feel them on the back, back of my neck. Now, two minutes gives a good, healthy histogram by the looks of it. Uh, you can probably might be able to see that on, on top. If I tilt you down in the histogram. So, so we've got F18, two minutes. ISO 100, that's just a two second timer. Let's give that a go and see what we do. Okay, so I'm gonna pop up here. So um, I've got the central stairway going straight down and the pylon's just off to the right. So fingers crossed this will work out. Up here, Raf, there's a good boy. Um, I will have to focus stack this. So what I'm gonna do is just taking a very short um, two second shot just to capture uh, the stairway. And then what I'm gonna do I'm going to repeat that. Wait for a wave to come all the way in. Actually, I like it halfway in, so we'll probably time that. Wait for it to go back towards it's going out. I'll just get some, some drag, some, some texture in that water dragging back, which is quite nice. And I'll get one where the wave's coming in. This one. Again, two seconds, because sometimes you don't know whether the drag coming on in is better than the drag going out. about a two second shot so I know that with the six stop as we said before is a two minute exposure and you can see how the light hasn't really changed much over the course of, of the entire morning um, so I'll pop this in I'm just going to flip this into landscape orientation just like that I'm going to slightly adjust Like that, make sure, make sure our focus is right. And you may be able to see the peaking just over here. And that's another two minute exposure, F18, done. everybody for joining me here at Port Wollonga. It's, we've had an absolute ball, Rafi and I. Um, no colour, but we didn't expect that, but that is just uh, magnificent and well worth coming to see and photograph. I will be back. I'll do a couple of sunset shoots, no doubt, when I 